There's something really cool about the start of the day, just before the sun comes up. Somehow it makes me feel really excited about all the opportunities ahead. So many possibilities. Yoga is that thing for me that balances me out, that clears my head, that fills me up. And when I fall out of a pose, it makes me laugh or reminds me to be silly and not take myself so seriously. When I got into yoga, I wasn't in the best place emotionally and mentally. I would pretty much decided that I was going to live my life down and out and that I was going to cope by being depressed. Yoga was the only thing that achieved balance for me. It's a change agent. I think it's important to seek out ways to fill you up and inspire you, those things that fuel the fire, so to speak. I think yoga gets a pretty bad rap sometimes and it has this stigmatism around it that it's super serious and herbal and you're a hippie and a girl if you do it. In reality, it's this awesome practice that promotes focus, non-reactivity and gratitude. It'll help you sleep better, be a better friend, a better listener, a better lover, and it's something that everyone can do anywhere. Everyone from domestic goddesses to CEOs to football players. I think whatever you do in life, yoga makes you better at it. I'm co-founder and director of yoga here at Flow Athletic. It's always been my mission to inspire through movement and I aim to bring all the positive side effects of yoga that I've enjoyed to the community here. My approach to the way that I practice and teach is pretty laid back. I grew up in a small country town in southern New South Wales called Batlow and it's famous for apples. I had plenty of time to roam around, ride my BMX, get dirty, swim in the dam. And I like to think that I've brought a sense of that curiosity and adventure to the way that I teach and to the way that I practice yoga. If I see someone in class with a really serious face, I'll encourage them to turn up the sides of their mouth and find a bit more ease in their practice and lightness. You know, I've never been the yogi with the longest standing headstand or craziest arm balance. For me, it's really simple. It's about moving my body in a way that feels good on that particular day and encouraging others to do the same. In my classes, I talk a lot about the space between. It's a philosophy that I try and live by as much as I can, both on the mat and off the mat. It's all about learning to enjoy the small things, like stepping back from technology every once in a while, connecting with friends, taking time out for yourself and learning to live fully and in the moment. It's in these moments that I feel the most relaxed, I have the most clear thoughts, I'm the most creative, they're the moments that are most inspiring to me and that fill me up the most. My aim is to take what I cultivate on the mat that day, be it a sense of calm, confidence, determination, whatever it is, with me off the mat and into the rest of my day. It's stretching the alertness so I can be more present and aware in every moment. It's really about showing up fully in whatever I'm doing. If I can get to the end of my day and know that I've inspired this philosophy in others and shown up fully myself, I feel like I've given back. And that makes me happy.